<laughs> right, what was I going to do from here? Oh god. It's pretty much done there. Today I thought we'd um, work on some drinking horns, or a drinking horn, but show you some others. Here's one that I made for my wife. This is a, what a drinking horn ought to look like. Uh, good size, fill it up, drink on it for a while. These all represent our pets. These folks are here. Yeah, the um, donkeys aren't far away. I love these these paper white horns with the black or brown tips. I, I seem to find more black ones than brown ones. I've only found two sets of brown ones in my life. The black horn actually rides right up underneath the, that paper white surface. I'll turn the horn so you can see how far up inside the black actually comes. You know, you, you pick your lowest spot, which is over in this area here, and that's your kind of your limit as to how far you can you can play with it like this these white paper white horns they work differently they that paper white part is, is very nice to scrimshaw or engrave on it just shows up nicer but it actually cuts differently than the most of the horn most of the rest of the horn and this is kind of a neat idea i came up with i had it um or have a couple of small black cow horns and i used to carve wizards like this out of whale's teeth back in the day uh, oh it's thick enough wall that i could probably do it get the wizard out of it and um what i've got here is i carved his hood so you can uh, slip a cord through there same as the, the uh, top of this i've got a hole in the top so that slip a cord through there and both of these can be hung from your belt. If you use like a, a toggle or a net ski sort of device, this is um, one that I've drilled the holes in the um, top for the cord to go through. And then that cord of course will attach to one of these. Uh, this is carved out of fossilized walrus ivory, 500 years old. Technically a fossil like you think of, it's just what they call old ivory. And just so that people understand what a nest is. Yeah, yeah, this, <clears throat> this is how it'll work. Um, when we made this cup, I, I made a little uh, net ski out of a wooden bear that I turned on the lathe. That's of a different show. <laughs> yeah, we did a video of that, so you can watch that if you click on the top right corner of the video there. Yeah. See how that was made. Just gets tucked through your belt like that, and it keeps it secure. No fuss, no muss, no pockets needed. Huh. So anyway, what I'm hoping to do today is um, show you how to start laying out one of these uh, horns and have a little fun carving on it. simple solution is uh, scrape them out just as good as you can, as far down as you can.